In a fancy photo, you can apply effects using destructive effects, that's in filters, but you can also apply non-destructive effects, and that's in layer, and new life filter layer, and down to any of these layers here. When you do that, it creates this a layer just down here. Now, you can move it around, you can reposition it, you can move it up there, above, manipulate it all kinds of ways. Please check out my videos on how to modify layers. You can also delete it. So simply click here to remove layer, or simply click here and it's not visible anymore, just there. So I'm just gonna bring it back. You can also modify it as well. Simply click here, and now sometimes it requires a double click. I've noticed it's not always consistent. And here's one of the equations for this. It should be noted down here, the blend mode and opacity are not, it seems, stored in the presets. So if you use a preset, you'll notice that the blend mode is always what you've got down there. So if you go to another preset, it will be still using this one, subtract or vivid light, etc. But if you want to actually save this design you got, you can do that via presets. And I'm just gonna go to that in a sec. But I wanna show this equation. You can modify it, it's not frozen. So you decide, let's go and let's go put that to four. So it just change it, make it slightly darker. Now you can apply it. We'll go and change this again and close. You can change your mind again. So just go over here, click here, and again, notice it sometimes does require a double. You can modify it again, maybe go for seven instead, and so on. But also what you can do, as mentioned, you've got presets. So I've got some already that I created for this, and they're in the channel adjustments. You can put them anywhere. There's categories, it comes with categories, you can create your own categories as well. So channel adjustments, and I've got Andrew Proc one. Now if I go up here, and I haven't changed anything, this create preset will not be available. You won't be able to select it. But say I modify this, so go and change it to say eight, make it again very dark. But again, key thing to remember, this isn't stored, which I think is slightly odd personally, but I, that's the way it's done. And you can modify other settings, of course, and then you can close it. But you can now create preset. So create preset, and I'm gonna, now, unfortunately, it doesn't recall the last name you used or the original name that obviously you, you source this from, which would be a nice feature. So again, I use Andrew. Obviously, I'll put my name, so I know that's a procedure that I've created. And PROC3. And you can also put the category. I'm going to go with channel adjustments. You can also create your own categories. So if you decide you want XYZ, you can create it but channel adjustments and create. And then at any point, so let's just close it. You start up Affinity Photo again, a couple of weeks later, you want that great live filter layer here. What, what you can do, you can just click here again, bring up this panel. With this, go there and you've got it again. You can bring Proc 2, Proc 1 and so on. But again, you've got to remember the change this, because you might find, you know what, that's a better effect, or that's a better effect, and so on. But it is pity that it doesn't store all of the data. So color dodge, say, and close. So once you've done that, you've got this, and you can apply it again and again, and tweak it subtly each and every time. Hope you found this tutorial of interest.